Larry Dangel, Global Vice President for uh, Market Development, Strategic Market Development, and OEM relationships with Six Network. The biggest thing is just synergy and the cultural fit, right? In terms of uh, the way they think and the way we think, in terms and also to see, make sure that our our visions are align, aligned. Um, the markets obviously differ. Um, and it, 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 it ranges from different markets, but uh, a lot of it's really to do with, you know, making sure that we're aligned from a cultural perspective and our visions are, are in the same way. We've been focusing a lot uh, in the Middle East uh, market at the moment, right? We're just, uh, um, you know, in the process of uh, expanding into Saudi Arabia and then other parts of the GCC countries, and we think those more, that particular market market is going to be um, a huge opportunity for us in the coming years. Uh, just adapting it, and uh, everything varies. I mean, the core principles remain the same, but from a cultural perspective, you need to adjust, right? And you need to sell it and, and, and bring it on board um, accordingly based on that particular market. It's not, uh, a, you know, very, very rare, is it, you know, one, one size fits all. Um, so you need to always adapt and look at the landscape and, and, then, and then see how we can approach it. What we are is a, we, we disrupt markets, right? And when we do look at a new market, we look at the opportunities and to see is it, is it a market that needs disrupting today? Is it ready? Is it mature enough? Um, and then we basically go from there. We don't, normally it's, it's not global partners, right? It's regional. Um, for a particular uh, continent, for example, in this particular case, uh, the one I was just talking to you about with Saudi Arabia and the GCC. Um, in the past, we've gone into national uh, or new, new countries and looked at uh, opportunities to see, okay, is there a fit with, with, a, with a given group? Um, uh, and whereas we've slightly changed our strategy since then. Um, now we look at an overall holistic approach to say, is it a market maybe that we should enter as a master franchisee and then basically work, mark, work, work that model just like it is in the US and in Canada, for example? Um, or is it somewhere that we need a local partner um, and then basically work very closely with a local partner, making sure that there's a fit? And we go through a variety of different processes, right, in order to make sure that there's a fit. And it's not something that's just an overnight. It can take up to, in, in the Middle East, for example, it's, it's taken maybe close to three years. A lot of it's the brand, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we've created a very nice footprint and a very, very nice brand. Um, and moving forward, in, you know, we've set certain trends. Um, so when you look at other emerging markets, they're already interested in seeing what we're doing. Um, and then if there's a fit, um, and I think the biggest thing, again, is, is, is a matter of is, is the market disruptable and is, is the timing right and where it's headed. Uh, we see very similar trends, to be honest with you, around the world. Uh, same challenges, uh, people, technicians, um, parts challenges, supply challenges, uh, and then working closely with insurance companies and the pressures that come along with working with insurance providers and work providers. So very similar challenges, uh, but just at different stages. So we're in the process right now, when we, look, when we look at the Middle East, for example, we get approached a lot by technicians um, that say, look, we'd love to, we want to move, move to Canada. I've started my PR process. You live in, you're, in, you're from Canada, you're a Canadian company. I get that a lot. A lot of people, a lot of technicians, uh, and most of them are ethnically, they're either you know, uh, Indian uh, descent or, or, or Pakistani descent, uh, Filipinos. So, and in markets like uh, Saudi Arabia, in the UAE, they already got work permits and, and they're working as technicians, but they want to go, they want to come to Canada. And we see that a lot. So we want to work with our partners in, in the Saudi and then obviously from, a, from, a, from a, with, with FIX in, in Canada to see if we can link uh, a process and bring technicians from, from those markets and then basically place them. The way that we are looking at it right now is our partners in Saudi are going to have a training center, right? Um, and they've, they've got a lot of technicians that they're, they're going through, they've got business today. The, the, the ideology behind it or methodology behind it is to take uh, our trainers, do a trainer-trainer program and basically have some 
trainers in, the, in Saudi and then put the technicians, who are already technicians today in their own right, uh, but put them through a bit more vigorous training from a Canadian standpoint or the way that we would do things here um, so, and fast track them, right? And then put them, place them in the, in the shops in Saudi for, for a couple of years um, and then basically have a process uh, of bringing them over here and then placing them into, into, into locations. Thank you.